We developed the grade uh, in response to a consumer shift. We've seen more and more consumers moving away from pure Pro Tour level race bikes, realizing that sure they may be the lightest things out on the market, but they're really not giving that rider um, exactly what they need. Those riders want to be able to spend a couple hours on the bike. They aren't pro tour racers, um, so they really won't be able to reap the benefits of those elite level race frames. We built a lot of features into the bike that allow you to stay in the saddle all day long. You can be competitive in a Grand Fondo. You can take it down gravel roads. You can do adventure rides. It's kind of just a really high performance bike you can take out and get rad on. A frame like the Grade and the Grade bike is a complete, gives that consumer a lot of, of great features. Disc brakes, fast tire clearance, and its simplicity and user friendliness really just make the bike um, that much more versatile for the everyday cyclist. Not only did we reduce the rear triangle with triple triangle making it smaller, but triple triangle also allows us to take the seat stays and place them outboard on the seat too. More traditional frame designs would take the seat stays and bring them to one focal point on the center of the seat tube, which tends to transmit more road vibration up to the rider through the seat tube. And it also, by taking those seat stays out a little wider, adds to the torsional stiffness of the rear triangle. We incorporated GT's dual fiber dynamic technology into the seat stays of this bike in an effort to maximize vertical compliance. So we start with a solid glass core, and then add a carbon fiber overwrap on top of that. The benefits of having a solid glass fiber core are that we can get a really strong product that is also very compliant. We chose a all-day geometry on this bike. What that means is we've lengthened the wheelbase, we've made the head tubes a little bit taller, slackened out the head angle just a little bit. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you a lot more stability later on in the day when your body's suffering from fatigue. We chose a 15 millimeter through axle up front on this bike to do a couple of things. That's going to help in steering precision as we build in as much vertical compliance into the front and the rear end. We are also looking for plenty of steering and pedaling stiffness. So by incorporating a 15 millimeter through axle up front there, it um, really allows the bike to track much, much better and it will fight the braking forces that a disc brake puts into a road force. On this frame, we also went with a PF30 bottom bracket. What we wanted to do was use that oversized bottom bracket shell um, to pair up to the oversized down tube and chain stays to offer as much pedaling stiffness as possible on this frame. 